I'm Miss Patrick, and I'm her teacher at Fortson High School, and this is Janine Jadlala. And um, she really did not want to be a senior artist, but I sort of made her. I begged her. I said, please. She didn't want to get up in front of people, but I know you can do it. I believe in you. Um, I must say it's been an honor being able to share my work with others that appreciate and understand the amount of work that goes into it. Working with my teacher, Ms. Patrick, has been one of the best parts of this journey and definitely will be the most memorable. The amount of time and effort she has put towards me is unimaginable, further enhancing my love for art. Photography is an overlooked art form which is what drew me to it. Whenever you look at photos, it creates this beautiful sense of nostalgia or appreciation for whatever moment that was captured, which seems like a beautiful way to look at the world. Photography is a powerful art form used to capture and freeze moments, compiling momentous occasions to forever enjoy the nostalgia that comes with them. Photography allows you to appreciate every moment, every detail in a bee's wing and every raindrop that splashes against the ground in the middle of the storm. So many of life's moments are taken for granted when you look through the right lens, every entity can seem ethereal. Photography holds a special place in my heart purely because of the time um, of which I spent doing it. Whenever I would pick up a camera, it would serve as a distraction for me, something I would I could hyperfixate on to distract me from the ongoing pandemic and strife of our world's never-ending chaos. I've always been interested in animals and watching them in their natural environment has always brought me peace. When I started to pay attention to the world around me because of photography, it gave me a deeper appreciation for nature, which got me into environmental science, which is what I'm planning on pursuing in the future. Photography has changed my views on the world, making me appreciate even the simplest moments in life. Noticing details most wouldn't. It has changed the way I view life because I can find beauty in everything. I love the way you can stop a moment to become a source of inspiration and joy for yourself and others itself uh, gives me inspiration. So now we are going to have some questions. Does anyone have a question for Denise? I do. Can you tell us a little bit about the series of beads? Like, was it morning, evening? Because the lighting on your photography is really exceptional. Um, so this was during um, the forest sunset and it's, it was a tree that fell down and it was just growing a bunch of pollen and we didn't expect it to because the branches are already like disconnected from the tree. So I thought it was cool so I started to take the pictures. So those flowers grew off of the tree? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So the flowers grew off of the tree? Yeah. Oh. What kind of camera do you use? What lens? Uh, my phone. Uh, well, these are all iPhone XR. And so Janine won third place at the Congressional last year with the picture up there. And so Debbie Dingle has it in her office in Ypsilanti, but it's really big. And what? how did that happen? Were you just breaking or...? That, well, that was first an assignment for your... For mine? Yeah. I don't even remember that, but, but I'm sorry. But I didn't turn it in because it didn't match with any of the... So it was basically a bunch of themes that you gave me. Okay. And I have to fill it in, and it didn't match any. But I look back, and I really like the picture. So and that's the one? That's the one that I submitted in the contest. And the French toast, they had to do a how to make book, right? Yeah. So that's the last, the ending shot of the how to book. I'm interested in the animals, like the the snakes. Like, do you just walk around and look for them, or like, how do you find them? So, on Sundays, me and my dad and the rest of our family go out to Henry Ford State Park, and we just go exploring. We'll go under rocks and we'll find like different creatures, like snails, snakes. Uh, we found salamanders last time and frogs. And the turtle, is that from there too? Yeah, the turtle is from the rose pond there as well. They're on different sides of the park. <coughs> Very cool. Do you prefer color or black and white shots? Black and white. 
I got one. Uh, I'm noticing you have like this kind of theme of texture in your a lot of your pieces. Is that something you actively look for? Because everything has really nice texture to it. It's not something that I look for. I think maybe it's something that attracts me, but it's not something I look for. But I will give her that assignment next. That's a good idea. <laughs> She's Thanks. already doing it. Yeah. Oh no, we're going to bring it to a whole nother level. Who are your influences? I don't have any. No. <laughs> Actually, um, for the black and white photos, it was Ansel. Ansel. Yeah. Oh, okay. I was going to yeah. say. Yeah. I appreciate it. Thank you. I forgot about that, too. Yeah. How many times did it take you to get the dart where you wanted it? That took a long time. I can't count how many. I don't know how long that took, but it took a while. Who was throwing the dart? My neighbor. Your neighbor? Yeah. Do you have any photos of uh, buildings? What? Do you have any photos of building, buildings? Not on here, but I have them on my camera roll. Yeah. Go ahead. Do you feel like, because you said you took all these on an iPhone, yeah. do you feel like that enhances your creativity to kind of be limited by the iPhone, or do you just not, do you not find it limiting at all? I don't find it limiting because there's so many apps you can use to edit, and it just you just have to transfer your photo from one app to the next. Um, maybe a camera would be better, I haven't tried one, but the camera, my phone camera works for now. Any other questions? Um, um, I really like the bubble that you took the picture. Like it, it's like all colors Thank you. on it. That was a, a pandemic um, assignment. I couldn't think of anything. They had to do it over the computer. And so everyone has dish soap and saran wrap, right? Yeah. But she took it a step further. You have a whole bunch of those too, don't you? Like, yeah. So you just take a bowl and you stretch it over the the bowl and you just put a little, did you, oh, and you she taught me oil. So you put oil in water, right? Yeah, you put oil in water and you put a holographic, you guys know the gift bags that have like um, multiple colors, you put that under and you blow bubbles on the piece of glass and it gives that effect. Any other questions? No? What are you doing next year? Um, are you going away to school? Or? Uh, I'm going to go to college, but I'm still decide. It, for right now, it's environmental science, but I feel like it might change. This looks, this, um, they yeah. did what we did. Environmental photography. Yeah. Goes hand in hand. Any other questions? Wow. Good evening. I'm Jenny Domino. I'm Nikki Cassidy. And I'm Stella. Oh, shoot, they just met. That's okay. Up. We were, we were going to do like the Oscars, and we okay. have the pleasure of introducing Stella Rochelle. Yes. That's it. First. Thank you. Okay, so um, I'm Stella Rochon. Um, I'd say that um, this achievement or journey um, really makes sense and came natural to me because um, all my life since I was really, really little, um, both of my parents and then later on my step-parents encouraged me as much as they could um, just, you know, like physically with like giving me supplies and everything that I needed and of course um, mentally too. Um, and so, um, yeah, uh, and also I think I, um, um, I also owe it to my teachers too because they do a lot of encouraging me too and giving me a lot of assignments and even the pandemic helped me too because I was just telling my ceramics teacher, um, that um, in sophomore year, two years ago, before COVID, I really felt like kind of like a fake artist um, because 
I would come home and then have no time to draw and just be way too tired. Um, but surprisingly with COVID, I would just be in the zone of school like all day. So I would be able to get my work done really, really fast so that I would have tons of time to draw. And I think I really started taking it seriously in middle school, but in junior year, which was the pandemic, um, was when I finally started to realize that my skill was no longer the thing that could ever stop me, and it would just be motivation. And so at this time, if anyone has a question that they would like to ask our amazing, outstanding yes. Stella. Can you tell me about the questions. works up at the top? Are those digital or done with marker? Or what, what media are you using? Oh, uh, yeah. I actually did these, um, this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one, and this one, all digitally on my iPad on Procreate. Mm -hmm. Yes? Yeah, so um, usually with those, I, I actually use music a lot to do my drawings and my, my art pieces, um, and they help me figure out like a feeling, or like that could be through like just the instrumental parts or the words, just the whole feeling and like vibe I guess that it gives me. So for this one, maybe I was listening to music that felt dramatic, right? So she's running and there's like a swirl of like everything behind her. So that's kind of how I start that. Yes? Okay, um, so you do a lot of digital. You have a nice mix of mediums. Obviously, you do the three stuff. Uh, you did a little on the wood, which is cool. Um, what, which medium would you say is your favorite at the moment? And why? Like, what is the advantage that medium has? Yeah. Um, I would say my favorite medium is digital right now because um, it really lets you create things easier like you can you can draw the first sketch on paper and then take a picture of it and scan it in and get it exactly the way you want it but on paper you know sometimes you mess up and you can see where you've messed up but here you know you can just fix it and rearrange everything are you a big tinkerer you when you're drawing yeah okay which piece means the most to you and why the piece right here um which has a bunch of little trinkets from my room is actually my favorite. That means the most because although it's not a self-portrait of myself, I still feel like it represents me because it's all the little things that I, I pick to keep in my room even though I, they don't really have much use. Um, I still think they represent me because I like them. Um, these usually take, like, so digital actually takes me the longest, probably because I'm very focused on getting every single part the way that I want. Um, and painting also takes me a really long time for the same reasons, because you gotta wait for it to dry, and um, really making sure that you get the, the first sketch finished and um, the way that you want. And um, traditional, like, that doesn't include painting, like if that's like markers or color pencils, it doesn't take me as much time. Um, maybe just like an hour or two, but these would take like maybe up to four hours. Mm -hmm. yeah. What about the style? What do you talk about the style? This? Uh, the style. Uh, see a lot of things inside, so this is story or something like that. Are you talking about the frogs? Yeah. Um, there's actually not a story. Um, I just really, I've never drawn, this is actually when I first started drawing more animals because I, I used to think that I didn't like drawing animals, but now I actually think they're really fun to draw. So I just thought, I've never drawn a frog before, so I'll draw the frog. And I think 
I chose that also because it fits perfectly in the little triangle. <laughs> yeah. So you might want to explain it's a print. Yeah, it's actually a print. Um, and that's where you, you cut a design into linoleum block that makes like a stamp and then you roll it through a roller or you, you press it and it has ink on it. Yeah. Um, I think I want to show you also with this, with this piece specifically is that um, a piece might not be going very well at first because this piece actually, um, I hadn't quite, quite gotten down how to properly um, get the ink on it after I'd rolled it, um, but with a gel pen and some colored pencils I actually was able to save it and you can't tell that there was a lot of like missing specks that weren't covered with ink. Yes, yeah, multiple weeks. Which piece of art did you have the most fun making? Um, the most fun? Probably this one because it's something that I never did before and I think if I did another one I would learn much, much more about it. So I think, is that, are there 12 prints that are exactly the same in that piece, in the printed piece? Yes. So did you have to print it 12 times? Yeah, I actually printed it um, I think up to like 15 times, just on separate sheets of paper, so that I could practice and also decide like what kind of paper I wanted to use and ink color. And probably your arrangement. Too. Yes. What advice would you give your younger self about art? Um, advice I would give my younger self about art would probably be to just keep going and that you don't have to be good at it right away because it takes a long, long time to get where you want to be. If there are no more questions, thank you guys for listening. Hi, I'm Hannah Dudek, um, and I have the pleasure of introducing Etzel Ford senior artist, uh, Musa Salman. Okay. Uh, before I start, I just I want to thank my art teachers, uh, Ms. Dudek and Ms. Petroniti. They really, they just helped me create and they motivated me to be the best artist I could. And uh, ever since I was young, I remember drawing and I just, I never really thought it could take me like somewhere. I just thought like, oh, these old people like Leonardo da Vinci, they're going to make like some oil paintings and the name over time they're going to sell. And uh, I don't know, I just, I never found that inspiration until I, like, later in life when I started working more. Um, my sister always reminded me to keep working, keep grinding, never stop putting in the work, and that's the key part in getting somewhere, in anything, not even just in art, but in life. And it's helped me a lot throughout my life, er, throughout my life, and uh, I just, I never felt like I had a sense of what art really was but that's just because I didn't really believe in myself and I didn't really like put myself to produce to my best until lately, if I'm being honest. Uh, a lot of this work, I don't think I'd produce this good work if the pandemic didn't happen. Uh, throughout the pandemic, it was really hard, but um, I just, I never really worked as hard as I could. I feel like that was a little time for everyone to like take a break. And when I came back, I wanted to work as hard as I could to produce and that's that's the product right here and uh, I realized that art wasn't just drawing on paper it was it was life art isn't everything you do art's the phone you're holding the camera that's taking the picture right now art's the thread in your clothing art's life and yeah that's what makes me great any questions I have a question. Yeah. Your work is very uh, narrative. Mm -hmm. It's almost like uh, each comes from a story. Are they inspired from stories or are you creating your own narratives? Uh, with all my artwork, I wanted to create like an emotion and make someone feel something because I just feel like that's the most powerful art because art's therapeutic and you kind of create to like release the emotion. 
So if I, I always wanted to make someone feel something from my art. So there's always that story with everything. Which artwork's your favorite? Mm, I'd probably say this one or That's what I said too. this one. But I think this one takes the cake because I remember I just, before I finished it actually, it was just the guy in the top hat and there was a black background. Or not a black background, sorry, it was a white background. And I remember turning it in for an, for an assignment and uh, my teacher told me like, this is really good, but it would be a lot better if you had a background to it. And I, I was like, oh, okay, like, I get it. And I said, like, yeah, but I never really got around to it. And I kind of procrastinated a bit, but until recently I worked on it and I'm really happy with the product and it just goes to show no matter how long it takes, you can just make something good. So. I'm sorry, you may have answered this, but it's a little loud back there. Are you primarily working in marker or what's your media? My medium is I work with colored pencil, but mainly I use watercolor and paint. Um, I never really like. I usually I usually would uh, in the past I used graphite and I like would use charcoal like pencils and stuff. And all a lot of my artwork was only black and white. And everyone would say like, oh, you should color it this this that. But I never felt like secure in my artwork, and I never like had the confidence to make anything with color until I got to high school. And then that's when I started exploring. And I'm glad I got into painting because I think it makes the artwork pop really. And you can get a lot of textures with everything. Are there any other questions? I can ask any. Uh, how do you come up with your color scheme for each one? Do you start with a particular color or do you pick a head of I don't know. I don't really keep. I try and keep it in mind, like as I work. But I usually start with just a sketch of the idea, and then as I work, I like toy with colors and see how it would look in my mind and try and envision it. And then as I go, I critique and I tinker a little bit with the colors. But it just it comes with the process. Yeah. Uh, you have three artworks came with aliens. Is there a reason for that? Uh, when I first started this one, I didn't really like want to do a series, but I felt like I didn't really do the aliens justice in this one, and I felt like I knew I could have done better. So I went with that one, and then I worked on a couple more, and then I kind of wanted to go back to the alien idea, and then that's when I made this. And before I started this one, I knew I could have done a lot better on aliens and like textures and uh, like different shades and everything. So I really like put myself to it to make sure everything was like perfect and spot on as much as I could get it. And then I really like doing it throughout the, uh, like when I was working on it, I realized it was a lot of fun making them and it's, it's probably my favorite one and that's why I have three of them. But I feel like it's adding to my style and it's kind of like my signature a little bit. Yeah. What got you interested in doing aliens in the first place? I always liked art that was very like abstract and like mind boggling and like out of this world. So what's more out of this world than an alien? <laughs> yeah. But it seems like the aliens are controlling some aspect of human nature or the earth. Yeah, I like uh, making art that like makes people think and kind of makes people question things. Right. Because I like art that, uh, if it like questions you, it makes you think more. And there, it's just like hierarchy and stuff. It's conspiracies and stuff. But it just well, makes that's you why think. I'm thinking. I yeah. Like it. <laughs> I like it. But yeah. Any other questions? Thank you, Musa.